considering taking the annuity payment, is it better to take the Exxon Mobil version of the annuity or to take the lump sum and buy my own? That's a very thoughtful question. That's it, not easy to answer. It's going to depend person to person. This is the first time in my career. I've been with the retirement group for almost 12 years now. And for the first time in my entire career, we've ran illustrations for people with private annuities from insurance companies that are paying more than ExxonMobil is willing to pay for every dollar of lump sum. Now, it hasn't been everybody that we've ran this assessment with, but usually those insurance company annuities don't pay as much because they have additional benefits that the ExxonMobil pension doesn't have, like a cash value death benefit or an inflation hedge or some kind of uh, crediting method that'll give you opportunities for growth in your payout over time. So the best advice I have is talk to myself, Patrick, or any of our advisors, or if you already have an advisor, have them run some illustrations for you on different highly rated insurance companies. Of course, you don't wanna use an insurance company that has a risk of going out of business, uh, but I've had a lot of clients that are more concerned now than they have been in the past about the risk of ExxonMobil not being around in 30 or 35 years compared to uh, taking that money out and having more control of the death benefit and the frequency as well as the payouts. Uh, although the ExxonMobil annuity is very flexible now that they let you have some flexibility in how much lump sum you're taking versus how much annuity you're taking. Uh, but it's going to depend on uh, case by case basis. So uh, we're happy to run some illustrations with a couple different insurers, uh, both single life, joint life, and some of these other death benefit options. Just give us a call and we'll spend a few minutes going through that with you. Yeah. And I think I could add that, uh, you know, specifically when you go to talk to someone who is, you know, there to help you, so people like uh, our firm and so forth. You want to be careful about them being able to be a prop appropriately licensed to present you the correct opportunities because some of the folks that can actually sell some of these types of vehicles don't technically have to be licensed like Tyson or myself or anybody at the retirement group does. So just be careful and obviously you want to do some homework and there's plenty of options for you. So yeah, it uh, just leads to the planning aspect of things, right Tyson? I mean, we talk yeah. often about the need for planning and just understanding some options because you may very well not know that this is something that's beneficial for you to consider.